and welcome to Yule Castle's service of nine lessons and carols. We're pleased to be able to share our celebration of Christmas with you. If we were to find any silver lining to the COVID cloud, it's that we can finally invite you to share in our celebration of Christmas in our annual carol service. Please do enjoy and join in with your favourite carols. Thank you very much. God tells sinful Adam that he has lost the life of paradise and that his seed will bruise the serpent's head. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, what is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And... I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, 
Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it thou wast taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. Thanks be to God. to faithful Abraham that in his seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. And the angel of the Lord called upon Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Thanks be to God. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
The prophet foretells the coming of the Saviour. The people that walked in the darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end, upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it, and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Thanks be to God. peace that Christ will bring its foreshown. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. With righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove the equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf shall also dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the kid and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together and a little child shall lead them. And the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together and the lion shall eat straw like the ox and the nursed child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hands on the adder's den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Thanks be to God.
And in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favoured, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favour with God, and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob for ever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered, and said unto her, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God.
St Luke tells of the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Thanks be to God. The shepherds go to the manger. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them. And they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe, wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, and with the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary, and Joseph, and the baby lying in the manger. Thanks be to God. The Magi are led by the star to Jesus. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came Magi from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, 
For thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the Magi, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Thanks be to God. Till a big day. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Christmas is the only holiday we count down to. We don't do that for Easter or count down to August bank holiday. Can you imagine? Oh, there are only 220 days till August bank holiday. Some children do count down to their birthdays in anticipation of a special day and presence. But at Christmas we all look forward. Christmas brings many hopes. We feel so pressured to have a wonderful Christmas time. We hear Chris Christmas songs being played all around. Songs about Santa and reindeer and holidays and carols about the birth of Jesus. 
One of my favourites of the first kind is Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas. Of course, the lyrics say, all I want for Christmas is you. And in 1946, Don Gardner's song suggested that all I want for Christmas were my two front teeth. What do I want for Christmas? I'm still working on that stupid list. You know the one I'm talking about. The one that assorted relatives ask you for in the, at the end of October. So what do you want for Christmas this year anyway? Just send me a list. Most of us don't really need anything. That's why we're so difficult to buy for. Well, this year, I'd like a new car and a trip to Barbados. They chuckle and say, no, really? Just make a list of what you really want for Christmas. Yes, really, that's what I want. I asked my grandchildren what they wanted or hoped for for Christmas. And they got so excited and began to list things, many things they desired that they were sure would bring them lots of enjoyment. As children, we often want games, gadgets, and the big boxes of wrapped gifts. But as we get a bit older, we may look for not only tangible gifts, but for something more. And especially at this time of year and this year of lockdown and isolation and, the, and a year that has had many tears, no pun intended. We want something more precious, things of deeper meaning and value, things which come without a price tag. Gifts like to be with people we love, to be able to hug and visit our relatives and friends. We want peace and joy and hope and love. And we want some good news. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's getting a little weary of the constant bad news that's all around us. You only need to switch on the news to see how our world is in such a mess. We've been overwhelmed this year with a pandemic, social distancing, talks about Brexit deals, racism, fear and anxiety and much more. And so on top of my list this year is good news. What is the good news of Christmas? The good news is that the Messiah has come. God put on human skin on purpose. Do not be afraid, because even in the midst of our fears, we are not alone, ever. Do not be afraid, because even when things seem to be going down the tubes, God is with us. Christmas is a time of good news, because the Christmas story is the story of a God whose preferred habitat is the messiness of human life. It is the story of a God who could have chosen to remain distant but instead chose incarnation to become flesh, to join us in human life with all the joys and hardship that brings. He chose a difficult time, an occupied land overwhelmed by fear, intimidation and discrimination, an unwed teenage mother from an ethnic and religious minority group, a forgotten rural village, which nobody had probably ever heard of. A birth away from home, away from medical assistance, in a human barn. God does incredible things in difficult times. Boris Johnson said he will do whatever it takes to save Christmas. Well, that's good news, but even better news is the fact that the baby born at Christmas came to save us. I don't know any better news. This Christmas, let's try not to look at the negative state of the world. Look what the world's come to. Rather than that, let's say, look what has come to the world. 
the good news of the Saviour, the resounding message of joy, joy to the world, joy to you and me. At this strange and difficult Christmas, whatever's on your list, I hope you get that. But I also hope that you get the best gift of all, and that's the gift of the good news of the baby born to save. God does incredible things in difficult times. Have a very happy Christmas. St John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, who were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and tabernacled among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God.